If you come to the Netherlands and you are looking for a coffee, so you want a cup of coffee or you know you want something uh, like a tea or whatever and you want to go to what we would say a coffee shop, just know that in the Netherlands that is something different. Hi, welcome to Yogi's Home. I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Today we are going to be doing another silly fun video um, about things that you should not to do in the Netherlands. So whether you're new to this lovely tiny country or whether you're just coming in for a visit, keep this in mind. These are things that you should not do. So if that sounds good to you, then why don't you come on in, kick off your shoes and stay a while. I'm really glad you're here. So let's just get into it right away. The first thing that you should not do in the Netherlands is refer to this country as Holland. I know, I know, that's what you most colloquially hear, is a lot of people will just say Holland. But Holland, it's just a part of the Netherlands, and actually you have North Holland and South Holland, um, so they're actually two separate provinces, but that's it, that's just a part of the Netherlands. This country is actually called the Netherlands, um, and so if you want to be respectful and try to actually call the country by its full name, that's what it is. A lot of people will also forgive you for calling it Holland, but there are some that won't. So just to be on the safe side, it's better to refer to it by its actual name, which is the Netherlands. Number two. So in the Netherlands, people are generally very, very conscious and respectful of being on time. This is sometimes hard for me. <laughs> as a lot of my friends will tell you. I'm like, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm just, you need to always give me like a half an hour buffer zone, okay, to make sure that I'm there. But Dutch people are really, you know, you say five o'clock, you mean five o'clock. That is not really like a suggested time. That is the time. And then when it's, when it's something from five until seven, it really means until seven, not 7.15, not 7.30, until seven and then goodbye. So. People are scheduled, they are very organized here, um, and part of that comes with being really respectful of the, the time that they set for specific activities. So don't be late and don't overstay your welcome either. The next uh, item that I wanna talk about is actually something that you guys, the viewers, taught me about because I did not know this until I started YouTube. So let's talk about it with other people who might not know it, and that is, Dutch people really don't like when you use the, hey, how you doing, as a greeting, instead of actually asking how they are. So that, how are ya, that we use in America and Canada just as like a, like a passing, more like a, yeah, as I said, a greeting, that is really looked at as quite disingenuous here in the Netherlands. So if you ask someone, how are you, or how you doing, you might have a 10 minute conversation about how they're actually doing. People won't just be like, not ah, fine and move on. So either if you use it, mean it, or don't use it at all. The next thing that you should not do in the Netherlands is expect to stay at someone's house for dinner if you were not previously invited to said, um, to said dinner. Um, so basically, if you're at someone's house for an afternoon coffee and then, you know, you get chatting or whatever and then it's now dinner time, it is very uncommon in the Netherlands that you will be um, invited to stay for dinner just because you're there. Unless the family or person planned for you to actually be part of the dinner, they most likely have um, only prepared enough for their own family, like really prepared just enough for their family. So it's kind of an imposition to have you stay as well. Um, yeah, for people coming from other countries or other cultures, that might seem a little bit harsh or a little bit cold or, you know, shocking or I don't know how to say it. Like it just, it's different. It is different than how, for example, in let's say in Serbia, right? So you cook like these enormous meals and you just invite everyone, whoever's there, oh, come eat, come eat, come eat. Even if it's not meal time, you're just gonna be like, can I feed you? Um, but that's not the case here. So if you're at someone's house or if you've, if you've been invited to someone's house and it's getting close to that dinner time, like you should also be kind of respectful and just 
leave if you were not invited for the dinner yourself to avoid an uncomfortable situation of being asked to leave or of the family just being like, well, it's our dinner time, bye. <laughs> Um, but that's also a little bit of that Dutch directness that we've talked about in previous videos that, you know, you'll just be told like, sorry, there's, there's no food for you. Um, and that's not a bad thing. It's not a judgment thing. I'm not saying anything. It just is what it is. So if you're new and if you're not accustomed to the culture yet of how it works here, that's it. Just know that. The guaranteed surefire way to upset a Dutch person is to tell them, oh, your language sounds like German. Don't do that. Just don't. Even if you think it might sound a bit like German, that's something that you can keep to yourself. <laughs> don't do it. Next up, if you have an emergency or an urgency, like a, something happens, uh, if you have like a medical issue that comes up uh, while you're in the Netherlands, I strongly, strongly recommend that unless it is a life-threatening, like really life-threatening emergency, you don't call an ambulance. Um, I made a whole video about the procedure, what to do. Wait, I'm going to put up both of my fingers because I'm not entirely sure which side I'm going to link it. It's here somewhere. Um, but the, basically the procedure is that you call what they call the house arts and post first, and they will... Um, answer a nurse or a, or a doctor's assistant will answer. Um, you explain your triage situation and they will determine what is the appropriate way to treat you. Watch this video um, for more details on that, but don't just call an ambulance. Um, one time when I first arrived to the Netherlands, I did see an older lady um, kind of fall down in front of a bakery in the middle of the day and she injured her leg. And my first impression or like my first like gut instinct, the thing that I did is I ran over to her and I said, somebody call an ambulance because that's what we do in America. Um, and everyone was like, don't call an ambulance. And I'm like, but she's injured. And they're like, no. Just calm down, lady. So, so that's not the thing to do. Um, you, there are other ways to get medical treatment, but it's not just immediately escalated to an ambulance. That is really for life-threatening uh, situations. Next up, the next thing that you don't want to do in the Netherlands is um, walk in the cycle paths. So you have sidewalks and you have bicycle paths. Um, actually, my friend Joey, he made a video about what not to do in Amsterdam. I laughed my butt off when he was talking about what not to do in terms of the cycle paths. I'm not going to repeat what he said. Go watch his video if you haven't already. But there is very clearly marked roads where it is for cars, where it is for cycling lanes, and where it is for pedestrians. So walk where you should walk, cycle where you should cycle, drive where you should drive. Don't intermingle or you might get hurt. Now, while we're on the subject of bicycles, if you are in the Netherlands and you decide to embrace and enjoy the cycling culture that is here, then you should definitely get a couple of extra locks for your bike. Just one is not enough. And if you leave your bike unlocked, or even kind of not tethered to something, and you are near a canal, either the wind or some naughty, naughty little kids or someone is going, well, not his, it's not guaranteed, but there are chances that your bike is gonna end up in the canal. So Dan, let's, let's put in a few images here of what it looks like. There are special boats in the Netherlands that sweep basically like dig through the bottoms of canals and they just like come up with all of these bicycles that have either flown in or been tossed in I'm sure on a on a good old Saturday night um but yeah so just beware make sure your bike is tethered to something to avoid it ending up in a canal Okay, and the last one, it's not so much what you should not do in the Netherlands, but what you should not say in the Netherlands if you are coming from an English speaking country. Um, and it's just, j hear me out, hear me out, okay. If you come to the Netherlands and you are looking for 
a coffee. So you want a cup of coffee or, you know, you want something uh, like a tea or whatever, and you want to go to what we would say a coffee shop, just know that in the Netherlands, that is something different. Uh, if you want a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and you're asking somebody for directions, you should ask them for directions to a cafe. If you ask them for directions to a coffee shop, you are going to end up where they sell um, other things that are maybe illegal in other countries. Um, you know, weed and hash that's sold in a coffee shop. So don't ask for it if that's not what you're looking for. Okay. Cafe. That's the word. Similarly to that, um, what we in America or Canada or like other English speaking countries, we might say, Hey, you guys want to go out or no, not, Hey, you want to go out for that. But you would say in a restaurant, what would you like to drink? Oh, I'd love to have a Coke. In the Netherlands, that is cola. You should ask for a cola because asking for a Coke will get you something else. I'm not going to spell it out for you if you don't know what I mean. You are too young to be watching this video. And if you know what I mean, then you know what I mean. Don't ask for it. <laughs> uh, that is not legal here. And that is not something that people typically ask for. But just know that you should ask to drink a cola, a Pepsi, a Coca-Cola. That's fine. But asking for a Coke will get you some, something different. Um, so, yeah. All right, you guys. So, that's it. That's a very quick little boom, 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 boom video. Let me know in the comments what you think of my um, ideas, suggestions, do's and don'ts. Um, please also let me know what do you think of this shorter style video. I'm trying out new things and wanted to see if you guys would be more interested and engaged with a shorter video. Let me know what you think below, please. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I can't believe there's already 4,100 of you subscribed. That's just crazy. Thank you so much to everyone who's already subscribed. Welcome if you're new. Thank you so much. Um, and also, if you like this video, share it because the more that we can share it, the more people see it and that's kind of cool too. So thank you so much, you guys. Thanks for coming over. Uh, thank you for any time that you spent with me today. I really appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye! Hi, welcome to Yobi's Holiday. Why don't you come on in, put on your swimming suit, and let me take you around France. What do you think? Come on, let's go.